Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, and joined today by Davis Maddock of Sports Grid, who's here to break down one of the best tournaments of the year. It's the Waste Management. What's going on, Davis? Yeah, the Waste Management. Uh, it's the best. This has been an event that has been profitable for me in the past. Also featured some heartbreak. I've had the the Ricky Fowler tickets both when he won and when he dumped one in the drink on 17. Obviously, it's it's a great event because, you know, we we just get to watch it and sweat it all day on the, the lead up to the Super Bowl. And uh, I, I would bet this is a very heavily wagered event just because people know they're going to be sitting there on their couches. So people are ready for the waste management. Oh, absolutely. People are excited about the Waste Management. It's the perfect lead-in to the Super Bowl, where your Kansas City Chiefs will be in action. We'll see what happens, obviously, on Sunday. But before we get to that, let's get into the Waste Management, where Daniel Berger is one of your favorite best series. He's at 20-1 over at FanDuel Sportsbook right now. Uh, Berger's a guy that you've been on in and in on a bunch. Uh, why is he someone that you're making sure is on your betting car here at the Waste Management? So the top of the betting market this week on the FanDuel Sportsbook is very wonky because Rory is playing, JT is playing, John Rahm is playing, and Xander is playing. So we have four guys who are 12 to 1 or better on the FanDuel Sportsbook right now. And, you know, in in these events where those guys cluster at the top, I find it hard to bet one over the other. You know, obviously my heart is always with Rory. But just looking at uh, at the markets here, Daniel Berger, the world number 14, uh, won on tour last year, had uh, six different top 10s and is playing really well right now, uh, coming off a T7, a 10th, and a T23 in his last three events. This is a great golf course for Daniel Berger, obviously, with his really strong tee to green game. That's how the waste management is going to play. So 20 to 1 just really felt like a, a strong price for him relative to some of the numbers that were getting deeper down the board. As the 14th best player in the world, getting him at 20 to 1 is seemingly a good number, especially with some of these other guys that are Around the same uh, ranking as him, it's 12 to 1. Yes, Rory, JT, and Xander, maybe they're a bit better. But Daniel Berger did win on the tour last year. Getting him at 20 to 1 here at the Waste Management just seems like a good number. Doubling that up and going to 40 to 1, it's Will Zalatoris, who's not exactly as well known as Daniel Berger or some of the other names that you mentioned. Why is he someone that we're, we're talking about here this week? So our guy, Will Zalatoris, is he's kind of one of these memes, right? And, and which is, uh, you know, that's that's good for the world that we live in today because, you know, everyone's uh, everyone's trading their meme stocks and everything. And <laughs> Zalatoris is like a, a PGA DFS meme. He's a guy who came off of the Corn Ferry Tour, was was absolutely crushing the Corn Ferry Tour, like just T10 after T10, uh, a bunch of wins on, on the Corn Ferry Tour, and is now graduated to the PGA Tour and, you know, immediately has started to pay off, right? The T7 last week at the Farmers Insurance Open, uh, a T6 at the U.S. Open last year. Like, he is a guy where you could see these numbers, um, you know, disappear, right? The 40 to 1s disappear because we see this happen all the time. Young golfers, they find a good run of form and then their numbers just run all the way up. I mean, we've seen this with, you know, for example, uh, uh, Matthew Wolf is a great example. You, know, you could bet him at 80 to 1 for a year. Then he, you know, he he cranked out a couple top tens, and then all of a sudden, if you want to bet Matthew Wolf, it's thirty three to one. So this is a pretty rich number for Zalatoris relative to what he has done on the PGA Tour. But we think that he probably is actually, but essentially, we think that his numbers are going to get worse, not better. And this is a great course fit for him. Not a lot of trouble at the waste management. Really should just be able to play uh, his smooth tee to green game. Zalatoris is a player that everyone's going to get to know potentially as soon as this year. 41, it's a number that is going to climb, maybe not this week, but in the coming weeks. As Zalatoris gets, um, tries to make his mark here on the PGA Tour, and maybe the Waste Management Open will be the time that he shines. Here, you got him at 40 to 1. And the final player that we're going to talk about is the Canadian, Corey Connors, at seven, plus 7,000, 70 to 1 here at the Waste Management. Connors, this seems like too high of a number for him. 
it's not, not even like he has been playing poorly. He's actually, for, for Corey Connors, has been remarkably consistent. <laughs> Hasn't missed a cut since uh, the Corrales event back last year. Another guy who, you're, you're not going to be betting Corey Connors at the U.S. Open. You're not going to be betting Corey Connors at the, at the WGC events, right? Because he's just not going to win those events. He doesn't have the game to hang with the very best players on tour. However, in a more resort-style course, you know, an easier course like this, it's just going to, it's just going to fit his game perfectly because because it's going to be all about gaining strokes off the tee and then just finding a way to not die putting. Because Corey Connors kind of has that that byung Hun and syndrome where if he can just even come close to average in the field in terms of strokes gained putting, he can contend for an event. Uh, hasn't won since 2019, but Corey Connors, uh, you know, at Daily Roto, just one of our guys that we love to ride, especially at the easier courses. If he can just survive on the greens, Corey Connors has a shot at this thing. And yes. He, it's tough for him to compete with some of the best players in the world, but at this, at this course, with the way he's playing, which is solid, plus 7,000 is just a number that you can't ignore. 70 to 1 for Corey Connors. He's a better player than that. There you have it. Those are this week's picks for waste management here, according to Davis Maddox. Davis, we appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend. Yep, very excited for uh, you know the, this event. Going to have it roll right into a Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory, and uh, we'll be back next week for more picks. We'll see if the Chiefs can go back to back, and we'll see what Megan Nunez has to say about the game tomorrow as she joins us with her top bets from the Super Bowl. For Davis Maddock, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.